Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to pull over and, and talk somewhere. Okay, be safe. Mm. I heard another ding. Is there anybody else on the line? Okay, I know Jennifer's going to be calling in shortly. trying to figure out whether or not they're going to cut because we talked last night after um, Judy and I um, got back on there last night. Uh, we talked last night, um, Tony and I did, concerning, you know, whether or not um, him and Martin are actually going to bring the equipment out and, you know, just interview some people there at the day party, just get their vibe on what's going on, what we got going on, so that the next one can be even more successful, and then the next one would be even more successful than those two, and then the next one, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just continue yeah. to get it out and get stronger and stronger. That's that's just what I see. Well, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. Well, yeah, I see it getting get stronger. Get... She want to go right, get well, started. Get started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for a great weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the opportunities you have given us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as Roseanne, Heavenly Father, for destiny, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for single savior, serious, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for foodie, for access, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for... uh, Fashion the mind, fashion the figure, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you, Heavenly Father, that the, the opportunity that you've given us around the community, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to change the world, Heavenly Father, to put a positive impact, Heavenly Father, in our community, Heavenly Father, as you see this well needed, Heavenly Father, as we glorify your name, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody on here who needs prayer, Heavenly Father. We thank you for Samuel chiming in, Heavenly Father. We thank you for Roseanne calling in, Heavenly Father. We thank you for Jennifer 
for calling in, Heavenly Father, for her busy schedule, Heavenly Father. We thank you for Judy, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everybody who's online, Heavenly Father, that's willing to call before they go to work, Heavenly Father, while they're in bed, Heavenly Father, or whatever they're doing within their household, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For they called, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so we can come as one unto you, Heavenly Father, because the Bible says, Heavenly Father, two or more that's gathered, Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit shows up, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing me, for allowing Buck to see what's going on this Friday morning, Heavenly Father, as we're in our car parked on Harris Peter, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, that's coming about, Heavenly Father. We're speaking it, Heavenly Father. I pray that everybody online, Heavenly Father, glorifies your name, Heavenly Father, as we go wherever we go. Over the weekend, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the opportunity, Heavenly Father, to not only throw an event, but a Christian day party, Heavenly Father, as we go around the city of Charlotte and see all of these day parties, Heavenly Father, and nothing for the Christians to do, uh, nothing for anybody to do who wants to know more about you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we want to thank you for allowing us that opportunity, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for my family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For I said on the radio last night that they're not as supportive, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but I pray as they see Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus that they will be more supportive Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. I pray Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus for everybody who needs prayer. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. I'm going to read a quick word. Psalm 139, 14, and I I just kept reading, so I'm going to try to stop and not read the whole psalm. I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. Heavenly Father, we just want to come to you this morning because we thank you first thing this morning for health, strength, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we're able, again, I always say, get out of our beds, move about our homes, move about in our lives, Heavenly Father. I thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you know our frame, Heavenly Father, that you formed it and know all of our days, Heavenly Father. So we thank you for this day, the end of this week, Heavenly Father, as we begin our weekend. Heavenly Father, we are We know we are blessed and highly favored of you, Lord, and so we look for ways that we can always give back, give glory, praise, and honor to you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the people that are on the line this morning that took the time out of their mornings, Heavenly Father, to join in agreement with us, to join in some meditation over how wonderfully we're made, how wonderful the world is that you put us in it, and what you've given us as work and as projects and as talents and as gifts in order to make a difference in your world. Dear Heavenly Father, there are those who are suffering in their body, Heavenly Father, through either no fault of their own or through the fault of someone else. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask for healing. Again, since we are wonderfully made, you know this body. You know how to knit it together, how to put it together, how to heal it, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. So we ask that healing come down. We ask that healing go through the hospital rooms. We ask that healing go through the bedrooms. We ask that healing go through the nursing homes. We ask that healing go through the rehab centers, Heavenly Father, so that people will be able to walk forward and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God has restored me to my feet. God has restored me to my life. God has restored me to my family. So, Heavenly Father, we ask the healing coming down. I received a prayer request this morning. A sister is having headaches. They're about to do x-rays and CT scans to find the reason why. And so we come against these headaches, Heavenly Father. We come against migraines, Heavenly Father, that are waylaying someone who's about to do your will. We thank you, Lord, that we know that you are a healer. We are more than conquerors in anything that you that allows to come into our bodies. So we pray this, Heavenly Father, this morning that blessings of healing will come down on everyone that needs it, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this day or this weekend. There's so many things that are coming in front of us. So many people have positive goals and things to look forward to. We thank you for that excitement that we feel, that we're able to make a difference in the kingdom, that we're people. Heavenly Father, I know that you are with us. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that you are with us and that you're blessing everything that we're doing. We have so many 
coming forward. We have God Belongs in our city at the end of this week in which we'll be able to walk with other like-minded believers, Heavenly Father, in the city of Charlotte to show that God belongs in the city of Charlotte. We will be able to lift our voices in one, as one, Lord, to praise your name, to give testimony, to give praise, and to show the world that God belongs in the city of Charlotte. We thank you for that event coming up. We ask that you bless it and anoint it and be able to show anyone that, yes, Christians care about their community. Christians care about making a difference in their local community and in the world. Dear Heavenly Father, for all the events coming up next week, I ask that you bless all of those involved. You have given Single Saved and Serious a fantastic year, Lord. We just did a review, but we are grateful that you've allowed us to be able to touch the lives of so many people. People who are saved and unsaved, Lord, have been touched by what we've been able to do. Everybody on this call has a mission, Heavenly Father, to touch the lives of other people. And so, Heavenly Father, we praise you, and we, we're grateful for what gifts and talents you have put in us, Lord. Help us to walk wisely with wisdom and discernment, Heavenly Father, as we go about doing the projects you have put in our hand. Bless our hands, Lord. Connect us to the people we're supposed to be connected to. Touch the lives of the people we're supposed to touch, all for your glory and your honor, Lord. We ask, Lord, as we begin this weekend, that you cover everybody in your safety, Lord. Take us out, as I always say, on the highways and the byways, Lord. Protect us in our vehicles. Protect our children, Heavenly Father, as they go to games and different things, Lord. Protect our children from all hurt, harm, and danger in the precious name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, as we wind down the end of this year, the holidays are coming, Heavenly Father. There are those without families, Heavenly Father, that may be by themselves, and so, Lord, we ask if there's a way that we can reach out to those who may not have family, may not have connections, may be feeling lonely this holiday season, that we'll be able to bless them, Lord. We'll be able to work with them and give them fellowship, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you're going to do. I'm just so full of praise this morning, Heavenly Father. I'm full of praise because I know what you're able to do. I look forward and I see good things coming, Heavenly Father. I see good things for Steve. I see good things for Roseanne. I see good Good things for Cray. I see good things for Jennifer. I see good things for all the people who chimed in and I don't even know their name. I ask in glory, in the glory of your highness and your mightiness, Lord, that you bless these people on this line, that you will continue to pour out your, your spirit on these people, give them new and fresh ideas that they have never even thought of in ways to glorify you. And we will never fail to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. If anybody else amen. wants to come in and pray. Amen, brother. This is a group prayer. Just Trino? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Well, my daddy's nephew is on the line. Sorry if I'm uh, being rude, but he's going to serenade us with a song. Um, so if y'all just stay tuned, he's going to serenade us. What a little song. You got something for us, Trina? Stay prayerful. Thank you, Jesus. Pat. We may have lost him. Uh, I think we did. I think we lost him. Okay. Anybody else on the line? If anybody wants to come in and pray. Yes, God. Oh, Lord, how, our God, how excellent is thy name above all the earth. Lord God, we just thank you for this day, Lord God. For God, this is the day that you have made. Lord God, we choose to rejoice on this day and be glad in everything that you have for us on today. God, order our steps, Lord God. Direct our path, Lord God. God, we wait in, in patience, God, to hear from you, Father God, as we wait on you, Father God. God, let us continue to give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Lord God, we thank you for Israel, God. As you said in your word that we are to pray for Israel, God. So, God, I thank you right God, right now, God. God, we bind up any wars, Lord God, anything that is trying to take your people away from you, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we loose the spirit of love and peace and joy. God, protection around Israel, God, not just 
Israel, God, for your children, God, for your people, God. God, we thank you right now, Lord God, that you have ordered our steps, Lord God, and we pray right now, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord God. Every yeah. tongue that rises up in judgment against us is condemned according yeah. to your word, Father. God, we thank you right now, God, that we stand, we stand firm in you, Lord God, but we have been like that tree, God, that is planted by the rivers of water, Lord God. We may be in Father, but we thank you that our roots are in you, God, that we will not break in the name of Jesus. God, I decree and declare that to be so even now, God. God, we thank you right now, God, that you have made everyone on this line, God, the head, God, and not the tail, Lord not God, tail, always right. above, Lord God, and never beneath, Lord God. God, we thank you that you, God, because you have performed, God, because you have given us a good work to do, Lord God, that we will perform it until the day that Jesus Christ returns. Lord God, we thank you for your word, and we stand on it, Lord God. God, as we decree and declare, God, God, as I'm in this hospital, Lord God, as I'm praying this prayer on this morning, Lord God, God, let the radiant waves, Father God, from my voice, Lord God, my prayer, my glory, and my worship to you, God, my praise to you, penetrate these walls, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, Lord God, that everything sick, God, every disease will dry up right now in the name of Jesus, that their bodies will be healed, delivered, and set free, God. God, we pray right now that because of these holidays, God, that nobody would be depressed, God. Mm, yes, There's no yes. suicide, God, in the name of Jesus. Name so we bind the spirit of suicide in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. Lord God, I hear you, Holy Spirit. We bind that spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. God, we will not lose one of your soldiers, God, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God that we will come together, Lord God, and we will join fitly, Father God, to do your will, God, to do your will, God, not our will, Father God, for our will is not void, God, because your word said that you know our thoughts, Lord God, that our thoughts are not your thoughts, God. Hallelujah. God, our will is not your will, God, but God, help us to do your will. And Lord God, it's everything, Lord God, such a heart, Father. And, Lord God, if you find anything that should not be, Father, we ask that you take it out right now in the name of Jesus and strengthen us even the more, Father. Strengthen us, God, that we can walk in your oracles, Lord God, that we can talk in your oracles, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, not our will, Father, but your will shall be done in this earth, Lord God. God, continue to let us lie in your green pastures, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus for those bereaved families, Father, that are going through through these uh, funerals on this weekend, Lord God. God, I thank you right now, God, that both of them, Lord God, both funerals, Lord God, this weekend, God, they were resting with you now, Father God, but they were saved, God, and they know you as their personal Savior, God. Not religion, but relationship. And God, we bless your name, God, for you are worthy to be praised. God, you're worthy of all the honor. God, you're worthy of all the praise. Now, God, seek, heal, and deliver in Jesus' name, I pray. Not in a man's name, but through and in your son, Jesus the Christ's name, Yahweh, hallelujah, amen. in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. Amen, amen, amen. We do a group prayer every Friday for those who are just tuning in. So you're welcome to uh, chime in and, and say a prayer. If you have any prayer requests, you're welcome to uh, let us know the prayer request that's, that's needed amongst friends and family. Um, we have, well, Alima Bryson. Aloma Bryson has God Walks God Belongs in our City, city. This weekend at Marshall Park at 10 a.m. Um, my son, Buck, has a football game, so I'm not going to be able to make it because this determines whether they go to Myrtle Beach or not. So if anybody wants to come assist Judy, Judy's going to be there. Yep. And um, if anybody wants to go out there, and represent uh, not only God Belongs in My City, but, you know, Single Saved and Serious, the whole movement ministry. Um, or your own group. Or there. your own group. We just need believers to yeah. come together, yes. Yeah, so uh, if y'all are interested, it's going to be a big, uh, a, a, a big march. And, um, you know, nobody really does that around town anyway, especially with – a Christian walk with a godly walk, and it's going to be peaceful, and it's going to be godly. So um, please feel free. It's at 10 a.m. at Marshall Park. 
Or let me Amen. know if anybody wants to walk with me. We can set up a meeting space, inbox me or, or text me, and um, we'll set up a space so that we can meet together. And we're going to be doing a prayer walk as well uh, in Kannapolis. I'll keep y'all in tune for that Design Door that Destiny is going to do. I call it, um, we're going to do a prayer walk. So we're going to be walking and praying. No talking, time to pray, not play. So we're going to Amen. walk around the city of, Amen, of Kannapolis, and we are going to walk and pray, walk and pray. So I'll keep you informed about that coming soon. Oh, Roseanne, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for letting us know. Yes, definitely keep us um, informed and updated. And uh, as long as our schedules go work, we would love to participate with that as well. Amen. Anything else that um, uh, anyone needs to announce or a prayer request or praise report? I got a prayer request. Go ahead. Well, my son, he's 19, and um, he was staying with me. When he graduated from high school, he moved to a female, um, a female, and right now he's going through a lot of different trials and tribulations. Mm-hmm. I kind of know he wasn't ready, but I let him go. So you just pray for him that he get his mind focused, and he, he, you know, and he builds something in him. But he right now, I kind of don't stand for anything, and I try to build a lot in him, but between his mother and other family members, they kind of pulled him away from him. So I just pray that he stands for something. At least that's what I'm giving and what he knows that's in the world. Okay, and what is his first name? Stefan. Stefan? Yes. yes, okay. Okay, we will lift him up in prayer. Anyone else? Judy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if I can, please, if I may. Um, sir, with with your son, and you were saying, you know, about um, being pulled away, please let me encourage you and let me assure you, the Bible says that you are to train up a child in the way that they should go. Mm-hmm. And because right now he's, he's 19 years old, he is no longer a child. However, he is growing up. And so when he goes apart, the word of God or whatever has already been instilled in him concerning the word of God, it will not depart out of him. And when mm-hmm. I tell you, and I'm a living witness, and, and this is going to come up Friday night on the um, he uh, from healed to I mean from hurt to healed, but when when they are in a place, they will not be able to rest. They will come back. They'll come back. That's why the Bible says in Revelation to turn back to your first love. Mm-hmm. And so because that has been instilled in him, trust me, have faith in God and trust and believe that God will do that thing. I'm telling you what I know, not what I've been told. Mm. Thank you, Rosanna. Hold on and keep the faith on that. Amen. And if I can just echo, because uh, I'm yes. going through that right now. My son in August picked up and went to Sacramento, California. And if I tell you, it was not what I had hoped for him at that moment. And he has already been several times, Mom, thank you for the wholesome upbringing. Mom, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> thank you. I miss you. And just the other day, he remembers a song that I used to sing. He posted Yolanda Adams in the midst of it all. I nearly broke down and cried because I, crying because I knew that I had instilled in him the right thing. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to let Stefan get, no, 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 the devil is alive. We're going to go ahead and claim that everything that you've instilled in this child at the dupe time, appointed time and season will uh, manifest itself. We are, mm-hmm. God said his word cannot fall to the earth void, and so we claim mm-hmm. that thing right now. Let me go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning with Stephen and all the young people who have been trained in the way they are to go, that have learned at their father's knee, that have learned in their mother's lap, Jesus, in their mother's lap, how to love the Lord. And as they go out into the world trying to determine who they are and what they are and how they want to be, we know that you still hold them in the palm of your mighty hand. We know know that your arm is not short. You know that we know that your spirit can go where we cannot go. And therefore we know that wherever they, their foot should trod, even if they have to be like the prodigal son, they will look up one day. They will turn around one day in the mighty name of Jesus and say, I will return to my father's house. In the mighty name of Jesus, we claim this thing. Heavenly Father, we know that they belong to you. They said sometimes the blessings would fall to the children's children. 
Jesus. So we know, Heavenly Father, we walk in faith, we walk in trust, and we walk in the belief that you will not allow Satan and any harm or danger to come up upon these children. Watch them where they are. Get them in a position where all they're going to hear about is the mighty name of Jesus. When they go to a place they didn't think they were going to hear about God, somebody going to walk up to them and say, hmm, have you been to church lately? Hmm, do you know anything about this Jesus? Come on, Heavenly come Father, on. allow them to not even get away from you, Lord. We know, we touch and agree on this phone right now that Stephen and every other child, my son, and every child, other child that has left their the home, that they will return. They will wake up one day and call their mother and father blessed. They will thank them for what has been instilled in them from a childhood. Yes, and we God. claim this thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, God is good. God is good all God the time. Mm, oh, taste and okay. see that the Lord is good. Yes, he will. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Okay. We claim that thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got some breaking news. I got some breaking news. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, we have an a, a artist on the line. Um, is he was on, back he on was the a line? Singer. No, uh, Jeffrey Williams. Jeff, you on here? Um, yes, sir. Um, God is good. And I, you know, just uh, thank him this morning, you know, good just morning. for his grace and mercy. His grace and mercy, you know, how he just, like, you know, um, saved me, you know. Uh, when I was out there, you know, I'm um, selling, you know, um, drugs and everything. And my parents, I'm um, telling me, you're heading for destruction. But I'm sitting there, I'm looking at them like, what are you talking about? I got all this in my pocket. I got money mm. and all this and that. But... The devil did not tell you the end. Amen. When I, when, when I sold, you know, um, dope out there in Charlotte, on, on the east side, the west side, and then I'm telling you, it came back on me. I got on crack cocaine. Oh, but God delivered me. But God. Mm. You know, <laughs> listen, I was in so many places all along by myself, but I had to go through that because I, I made those choices, and even my yeah. parents told me, hey, man, you're going in the wrong direction. But I didn't want to hear what they had to, like, like tell me or, you know, uh, you know, I thought I knew everything. Mm. But let God. me tell you, when you get out, when a person get out there on that crack cocaine, I'm telling you, it will take you to the lowest. But I'm mm-hmm. telling you, here today, I'm so happy to be amongst, you know, the living because God Amen. delivered me. Amen. Amen. I, I didn't go to no, you know, like, you know, a rehab or anything, but I cried out. Okay. And, and I said, God, I need your help. Suddenly. I hmm. need you right now to Amen. deliver me. Instantly. And God, he delivered me. And, yes, I'm not saying things are going to be perfect, but, you know, I have my, you know, um, good days and my bad days. But with God, I'm telling you, if anybody out there that's listening to have any type of addiction, mm. if you give it to God, God will deliver you. And I'm okay. a witness. Yes, I am a witness. God delivered me from crack, cocaine, and that's a bad addiction. Amen. Mm. And, you know, and, and I'm going to say this, you know, just a little bit and tell you how good, you know, I'm God is. I've had some good days. I've had some years to climb. Yes. I've had some weary days. And some lonely nights. But when I, when I look around, mm-hmm. Man, I think things over, mm-hmm. over my good days. They outweigh my bad days. Mm-hmm. For I, I won't complain. Hey, um, a little bit, you know what I'm telling you? I will not complain because God is good. And if anybody out there that's listening, I'm telling you, whatever addiction that you have, Jesus. you give it to God, and God will deliver you. Amen. I'm um, thank you. Amen. And y'all be a blessed <laughs> thank today. Thank you yes, so I'm much. Telling you. That, Jeff. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, ma'am. 
Mm. I'm God good now. I'm telling yes, you. Yes. <laughs> I'm a living testimony. Listen, listen. I hey, listen. I'm 49. Well, I'll be 49 on November 2nd. Mm. I got four kids. Actually, my oldest son, he's a uh, a police officer here, and you know, I'm Charlotte. Mm. And doing all that, like you know. Uh, riding and you know and everything you know was I'm um, going on. He used to call me at 1 a.m. saying you know, uh, pops is so like you know, I'm um, bad down here. But how could my son call me if I didn't get myself you know up together? Amen. You know what I'm saying? And it was nobody but God who did that you know. That's right. Up on me. That's right. And then you know I'm telling you I love God you know just for what He done for me. Just Amen. for saving me, just for All saving right, my go ahead soul. And give that praise report. Amen. Uh, yes, ma'am. And um, y'all have a, you know, a uh, 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 blessed day. Thank you so much. All right. Anybody else want to chime in for prayer? I appreciate that, Jeff. Love you, man. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate gonna, you, man. We're going to lift up his son and cover him in the word. It's hard to be a police officer today. It's hard oh, to be yes, a good police yes. officer today. In, in this climate that we live and as we, as the communities begin to straighten out the ones that aren't so good, we pray a hedge of protection around the ones that are doing their job, that are here for us. I also just got a prayer request from a young lady, I will not mention her name, who was recently, um, she went to a meeting or what she thought was a meeting and was attacked. Oh, and man. the Lord covered her so that she, the, the attack was not successful. I'm just going to say it like that. However, it shook her to her core, and I have been praying with this young lady off and on, and she just reached out to me. So I'm going to go ahead. Excuse me? Oh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just lift up. Um, Jeff, what's your son's name? Um, um, his name is um, Officer um, Givens. Officer Givens. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, this morning we bring Officer Givens and all of those like him, Heavenly Father, who are dedicated to the protection of the community, dedicated to the right way to police our communities. Heavenly Father, we ask to pray hedge of protection around them this morning, that no heart, harm, and danger will come to them. Keep their minds safe, Lord. Keep the stress levels low, Heavenly Father. We know that this is a stressful job if any, what didn't even have to deal with what's going on in today's society. So, Lord, we ask that you cover them, that you cover their minds, cover their bodies, cover their hearts, cover their spiritual selves, Lord, the things that they have to see and look at mm, throughout their day, Lord. We ask that you don't allow this to get into their spirit, Lord, and keep a hedge of protection around him here in Charlotte, Lord, where can be able to do his rounds, do his work, and come home to his family or to his loved ones, Lord, in peace and in safety. And dear Heavenly Father, I hold up this young lady. I ask that you cover her mind, Lord. Cover her spirit, Lord. Cover her as she has had to face this harrowing experience and the results in her emotional state of how it has left her feeling vulnerable, left her feeling scared, left her feeling unprotected, Heavenly Father. She does have family, but I ask that other people come around and surround her, Lord, with your love, with your protection, with your safety so that she can go about her life and about the projects that you have her doing, Lord, in a, with a sound mind. You said you have not given us a spirit of fear, Heavenly Father, but a power of love and a sound mind. So we ask, Heavenly Father, that on both of these people, that you cover them in your power, you cover them in your love, and you keep their minds sound throughout the day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Chuck. I'm um, Brandon. He may be trying to deal with something. But I thank everybody on the line. Is there anything else that anyone would like to say? Um, if not, I always like to close in prayer. But I'll give this time if anyone wants to say anything, give a praise report or anything. You to go ahead and announce for about Friday and next Friday and next Saturday, please. I will. Uh, next Friday evening at 7 p.m., uh, Roseanne and I are doing a talk for the women and some, yes, for the men. I need you to call in because you may be trying to talk to a woman or deal with a woman or marry to a woman, mm-hmm. and she has been hurt. And we're going to be talking about going from hurt 
to heal. And Roseanne and I have different stories, and yet they come to the same conclusion that without God, <laughs> without God in the yeah. midst, yeah. we would be mm-hmm. lost. And so, Heavenly Father, um, it's going to be on refocusradionetwork.com. You can go there and, and listen live. Uh, Roseanne and I both have the link up. I don't have the number in front of me. So um, if you want to, please get in touch with either one of us, and we'll give you the call-in number. You can also inbox us if you have questions. We're going to be taking questions live from individuals, but we're going to be telling our stories. We're going to be transparent, and we're going to be talking about what it means to go from hurt to healed, and that's going to be November 4th at 7 p.m. And then November 5th, Roseanne and uh, Chuck and I, we are we're banding together to pull off our informal gathering um, Christian lounge experience at uh, the Doghouse Bar and Grill. And if you know Single Save and Series, you know we're out in the community like that. So we're going to be at the Doghouse Bar and Grill, 7200 Albemarle Road, from 1 to 5. It's a free entry event. Just come out. We've got spoken word, wonderful music, pop-up, speed dating, and icebreakers. It's just a great time to be in the world. So we're looking forward to um, you coming out with us. Uh, anything I've left out, Roseanne? No, blessing. You got it. Okay, thank you, honey. Thank we're you. also going to be dancing, y'all. We're going to be dancing within the spirit, so bring your dancing shoes, bring your dancing attire. Look, and y'all and don't laugh at me because a- I'm going to have my tambourine, so y'all don't laugh at me now. <laughs> yeah, if we can if we can dance out here in these clubs at the day parties hey, and stuff like that. We can dance with Jesus. Um like Judy That's said, okay, like, I got my whistle. Ah! Yeah, yeah, get your whistle. Because uh we got a fabulous DJ that's on set. Um yep. fabulous food. Yeah, uh you great know, food. drinks. So you know, hey, come on what? out. The lady was the lady uh the owner was open to bringing a a Christian environment to her establishment. So, um, and she was very excited about it. Um, Matter of fact, she was willing to help us with the time and, you know, things of that nature. But like I said, it's free, 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 no charge, no cover charge. We just don't come in. Married couples are invited. So if you know anybody that's married saying, oh, I'm not single, I can't go. Yes, you can. You can come out there <laughs> and enjoy yourself and see and what's going on. And support the singles. Amen. Yeah, and support the singles. All right. So okay. um, we're going we're gonna to end this in prayer. Um, so I'm, I'm going to end it in prayer before we leave okay. as I'm out here. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come upon you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come upon you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but thank you for this exciting prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that it touch souls, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the souls that it touch, Heavenly Father, will touch Mm. other souls, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that it will hit worldwide, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Not only in the city of Charlotte, but the world needs this, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Not only for this prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for stolen lunches, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Jennifer's prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Roseanne's prayer call in the morning, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, when we all come together, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and try to make a change within this hateful world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with politics going on, with with with, with the religion going on, with the disagreements of religion, different religions, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with the attack on Christianity, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with the attack of, of everybody, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the enemy knows so far what he's doing, Heavenly Father, but we know that you have the last call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So as he tries to attack, you say, come on, but I got an even better plan for you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the ones that are discouraged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the ones that are hurt, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the ones who are damaged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who are who are left out, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
And I don't have a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And don't know where to go, Heavenly Father. So they're going around and around and around, Heavenly Father, while you keep calling them, Heavenly Father. But they don't want to be submissive in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As I scream to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In need, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want you to cover my son, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as he goes to school, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And they attack him, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But drop and truly come, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Call him every minute, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That there's a problem, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And calling him dysfunctional in so many words, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, saying he needs special attention. Heavenly Father, I rebuke it. In Heavenly Jesus Father, name. in the name of Jesus, Jesus you will not name. destroy my son. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I'm just praying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody's son. But we know, Heavenly Father, that the enemy's trying to take away the hand, Heavenly Father, in the name mm. of Jesus. He's trying with all his will, Heavenly Father, because he knows the hand and body is together, Heavenly Father, in the That's name of Jesus. Right. Nothing right. can be stopped, Heavenly mm. Father, in mm. the name of Jesus. So when he has to attack us the mind, Heavenly Father, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm. So I just want to pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for anybody on this phone, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That questions our movement, that questions the ministry, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That's on the attack, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for them right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That they start their own ministry, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know you are love, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that there can't be love without you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we go to these streets, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and we hug, Heavenly Father, I want them to see you, Heavenly Father, not us, but you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as I scream upon, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, that everybody has an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And once again, that when they're out in these streets, that glorify you, glorified Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. For they're shouting, it wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Where I was from where I am now was because of you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Not us, but you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As you lead us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you're not a forceful God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You're not like our parents, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But you, you want us to come on to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You want us to be with you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that you're a jealous God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, how you feel about our lives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you fill us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the rest of the week as well as the rest of the weekend. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Amen and amen. Oh, I just feel the spirit of the Lord, Heavenly Father, just moving on all of us. I wish all of you a safe and prosperous weekend. Be safe, everyone. Blessings to you. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you, all Y'all have an excellent weekend, and I love y'all. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.